it's hard to believe that this small amount of metal that we have here stacked is actually all the metal for our roof. Welcome back to the Tamarosa. When we last left off, we had finished putting on our plywood. Next step is putting on the metal roof and finishing off the gable walls. Okay, today is July 29th. What's our next stage, Stacy? Well, we gotta put the metal on the roof, but before that, we have to put down our underlayment and our wood purlins. So for part of our underlayment, we have three feet of a self-sealing membrane. It's specially made to go under a tile or metal because under the metal especially can get really hot. So we're gonna use that for the first three feet underneath um, on the edge of the eave. And then we have a tight or 30 pound felt that we'll put underneath. And then we're gonna put the uh, one by four purlins across and then we'll put our metal on top of that. So how did this first evolution go? It went a little easier than I thought it was gonna go. The self-sealing membrane was actually easier to handle. Uh, it laid flat on its own pretty easily, even though it was rolled up. I worried about it trying to roll up on its own and trying to hold it down, but uh, it's sticky, just sticky enough where it'll stay in place, but not so sticky that if you accidentally touch something, it's there forever. What about those little sticks you're using? What is that? These are just jigs to help space the purlins apart so we can keep them all even. So are you just having a little break or what's our next evolution here? We gotta go work on the roof. Oh, what are we doing? How, what's, what's this have to do with working on the roof? It's so I don't fall off the roof. <laughs> okay. Do you want to explain it a little? Yeah, this is the ID, which stands for industrial descender. What it does is it keeps me from falling, but I can also lower myself in a controlled manner. Oh, and if I freak out and I pull too hard, it automatically locks off. That sounds like a good thing. All right, moving on to the next stage. I didn't know if you knew that about it automatically locking off if you freak out and pull too hard. No, but it sounds like a good thing that they developed. Yeah. So we did one layer of the waterproof membrane and one layer of 30 pan felt and now we're going to put Stacy up on the roof. Today we're going to move on to putting metal on our roof. So yesterday we finished putting on the underlayment for one side of the roof. Today, this morning, we're sorting through our metal pieces. It's hard to believe that this small amount of metal that we have here stacked is actually all the metal for our roof. And then we're going to get started trying to figure out how to get the metal up on the roof. We moved over a couple of sheets of our metal with our tractor. Here you can see the roof with the tar paper all on it and our purlins. Our plan is to stand up the metal and then pull it up. We will see how that goes. So we stood up the first panel. Stacy got up on the roof and in his rigging. And we're putting on a C-clamp with some rubber on it. 
Our hopes is we can use that to pull up the panel. And this is our test. Yeah, you gotta lower it a little Good morning and welcome back to the Tamarosa. This is our second weekend on working on our roof and this is where we're at. Last weekend we got the first half of our roof on. This weekend to do the second half of the roof uh, we have to actually put the rope across the roof so we are mounting it to our faithful farm truck and then over the top of the roof Stacy will put a piece of chafing gear across the ridge. And yesterday afternoon, we actually got the first two parts of the underlayment on for the roof. And now Stacy has got all of the tar paper and the strapping up for underneath the metal roof. And he's just cutting off some of the excess tar paper. So Stacy, how is the roofing going so far? So far so good. Uh, it was pretty cool this morning, so we were able to get a lot done. It's heating up now, but uh, making good progress. The, each roof side takes 13 panels. They're three feet long each, and our roof is 39 feet. So we have two panels up. We have 11 more to go. And we're glad to be done with the roof soon. <laughs> It's another day on the Tomarosa. Another day to do roofing. We have on almost eight panels. We have about five left to do. Stacy's working on putting up our final panel. For the final panel, we actually have to slide it up and then Stacy has to work on it while he's putting it up, which is very uncomfortable and can be unsafe. So he has to be very safe and try to work as quickly as possible. After getting the metal panels on the roof, our next stage was putting in the studs for the gable walls. What we did was we notched out the studs at an angle 
and then we screwed them from the outside and we toe nailed them into a bottom plate. We also framed out the openings for the windows. On the back wall we left out the center stud because our plan is to use that space to still be able to move some supplies in and out of the upstairs before we put on the plywood. Namely, a massive 12 foot tub that we don't want to have to move through the center of the house. So now we are in August and I know that when we first started our filming that I said that I wanted to be in our house celebrating my birthday in four months at the end of August. So technically I'm in my house and it is towards the end of August and actually for my birthday my husband installed a working toilet. So I'm very excited to have a flushing toilet on the farm and it may seem weird to anybody else to not have anything else installed in a house but for me having a working flushing toilet is the best birthday present ever so as we continue working it's nice to have that on the farm we're gonna continue working and trying to get the rest of the house dried in and finished on the outside maybe by october and then finish on the inside hopefully by christmas so stay tuned for our roof part two video where we'll be, God willing, finishing the roof, installing the ridge cap, the barge rafters, finishing the gable walls, and the rest of the roof trim. We're also going to install a lightning rod system, which will probably be its own video. We'll see you next time on the Tomarosa.